in past times people used to think of the requirements of being a doctor as strictly biomedical and that is that you had to be able to do the tasks of physical exam and diagnosis but people have realized more and more over time that there are some interpersonal skills that are critical to being a good doctor. One of the ways we determine whether our students are, are becoming proficient at the art and the science of medicine is through the OSCE. The OSCE is an objective structured clinical exam in which students interact with nine standardized patients, that is actors who are trained to portray some physical or sometimes psychological problem. Hi, my name is An Pham. Uh -huh. Hi. So the OSCE examination is an opportunity for Harvard Medical students to go through nine common cases that we encounter in the uh, hospital settings. Um, we have 20 minutes to go in, interview the patients, do a focus history and exam, and to sort of come up with an assessment and plan and move on to the next case. As I see it, the purpose of this exam is to ensure that our graduating students have good communication skills, that they connect with the patients, that they're able to think on their feet, and that we're promoting good work by them. All of the cases were quite nuanced and there's a lot of depth to all of them that you may or may not discover. Like in many clinical situations, there are subtleties, there are nuances that students may not pick up on. So thinking on your feet is a challenge, but that replicates the clinical situation that you find in the office or you find in the emergency department or you find in a critical care unit. When you get your feedback and realize the things you missed, it really does trigger some serious introspection about, you know, how can I be a clinician who can build rapport quickly and try to pick up on things that aren't necessarily obvious. We really hope that the students either have a sense of mastery once they finish a station and come to understand, oh yeah, I really, <laughs> I figured this out, I could do it, or gosh, I didn't do very well. I really need some help before I graduate. And that's a really important moment for a student. I think that it was useful to have the feedback from the mentors and the preceptors that we had, and also from the patients, which is something that we rarely get in the hospital. Well, these are very experienced patients. We use the pool of patients trained by the University of Massachusetts. And many of these people have had 10, 12 years of experience. And not only are they great as patients, giving wonderful simulated histories, but they're also wonderful in the feedback to students. We have people that have been lawyers all their lives. They're businessmen, they're carpenters, they're teachers, there's moms, you know, every, secretaries, everything you can imagine. And they become standardized patients and stick with the program because they feel they're really helping. Let me put it to you this way. If I had all the illnesses that I portrayed in 12 years, I'd be a corpse. I enjoy this type of work only because I feel that I'm helping to shape these students to be good future doctors. There were moments when I was able to actually kind of lose the sense that this was a contrived situation and, and really feel like I was the primary caregiver for the patient and really responsible for gathering all the appropriate data and, and implementing the treatment plan. You know, we all walked away feeling like it was a great learning experience. Mm -hmm.